Welcome back to another video where today we're taking a look at the iconic Mercedes-Benz W140 series. This series of flagship vehicles was manufactured by Mercedes-Benz from 1991 to 1998, and it came in both sedan, saloon, and coupe body styles with two wheelbase lengths, SE and SEL. Mercedes-Benz made a huge statement when they unveiled the W140 S-Class at the Geneva Motor Show, and with the sales launch following shortly after, it didn't take long for the car to take the world by storm. Did you know that the development of this iconic car began as early as 1981? It's true. The W140 went through several different design proposals from 1982 to 1986, when a definitive design by Olivier Boulet was finally selected on December 9, 1986. The design patents were filed in West Germany and the United States in February and August of 1988, respectively, according to lead designer Bruno Sacco, the W140 was heavily influenced by the Jaguar XJ40 and BMW E327 series. The initial exterior design proposal called for two different cooling grille designs to denote the lower and upper models, similar to the round and rectangle headlamp design on the W123, 1976-1985. One of the most innovative aspects of the W140 was its use of metal-forming technology, this allowed for the extension of the engine hood bonnet to the front bumper, with the grille placed inside the extruded metal. The W140 became the second model, after the R129, 1989-2001, to feature this extruded metal grille. The final exterior design was locked in September of 1987, and several engineering prototypes were evaluated from early 1987 to ensure that the car met the high standards set by Mercedes-Benz. In summary, the Mercedes-Benz W140 was a revolutionary vehicle that went through a long and rigorous design and engineering process before its official introduction in 1991. Its innovative use of metal-forming technology and unique grille design set it apart from its competitors, making it a true classic in the automotive industry. June 1993 marked a significant turning point for the W140 series, as all models were renamed regardless of wheelbase length or body style, as well as fuel type. However, diesel models were marked with a turbo diesel label on the trunk boot lid. The W140 series was truly groundbreaking, and in 1996, the S-Class Coupe C was renamed again as the CL-Class, and it became its own model range. The W140 series will always hold a special place in automotive history, and it's easy to see why. The W140 was known for introducing several safety innovations. Firstly, the V8 and V12 W140 models distributed more braking power to the rear wheels, increasing stopping effectiveness. Then, in 1996, the W140 received the Brake Assist System BAS, which engaged during emergency maneuvers to boost braking power to the maximum. Another notable safety feature was the introduction of the Electronic Stability Program, ESP, in 1995, which was initially available only on the Mercedes-Benz S600 Coupe C. ESP used onboard computers to improve vehicle handling response during difficult driving conditions. This was a Mercedes-developed system that has since been licensed to other manufacturers. In 1995, the W140 also introduced Xenon High-Intensity Discharge Headlights, low beam only, which provided better visibility during nighttime driving. Side airbags and seat occupancy sensors were introduced in 1996 to provide additional protection in the event of a collision. This was a significant innovation that helped to further improve passenger safety. Finally, automatic windscreen wipers with rain sensors were introduced in 1996, which allowed the wipers to adjust their speed based on the intensity of the rain. This feature helped to improve visibility and driving safety during adverse weather conditions. Overall, the W140 S-Class was a pioneer in introducing several safety innovations that have since become standard in modern cars. These innovations have helped to improve the safety of drivers and passengers alike and cemented the W140 S-Class's legacy as an iconic vehicle in the automotive industry. The Mercedes-Benz W140 series was known for its high-performance engines that pushed the boundaries of power and efficiency.
A new generation of inline six and V8 petrol engines was developed for the W140 series, featuring double overhead camshafts, DOHC, four valves per cylinder, and new variable valve timing. The introduction of these new engines marked a significant shift in the automotive industry, as the DOHC design helped to increase horsepower and torque figures without imposing a heavy fuel consumption penalty, all while reducing emissions. Furthermore, all petrol engines in the W140 series were equipped with catalytic converters during the entire model run, regardless of where they were sold. The 3.5-liter inline-six diesel engine, OM603.97X, was the only engine carried over from the W126 model, and remained the only engine in the W140 model range, with a two valves per cylinder format, until its replacement in 1996. In 1992, the M104 petrol engine was introduced with two displacements. The smaller 2.8-liter M104.94X engine was fitted to the 300 SE 2.8, one year only, then S280, 1994 to 1998, while the larger 3.2-liter M104.99X engine was fitted to the 300 SE 300 SEL, one year only, then S320, 1994 to 1998. The W140 also saw the introduction of Mercedes-Benz's first passenger V12 engine in 1991 in response to BMW's 750i-750il, E32. The M119 V8 engines were available in 4.2-liter M119E42 and 5.0-liter M119E50 versions and remained unchanged throughout its entire model run. In 1994, AMG developed a 6.0-liter version, M119E60, with 279 kilowatts, 379 PS, 374 bhp, and 580 nm, 428 lbft, in a very limited production for the Japanese market. The S500 AMG 6.0 and CL500 AMG 6.0 were built from 1994 to 1999 per customer order. For 1993, the V8 engines were detuned for improved emission control. Overall, the W140 series engines were groundbreaking for their time, setting new standards in performance and efficiency that helped to shape the future of the automotive industry.